Hello everybody. Um, so I am back with another NCLEX style video. So um, basically I'm going to tell you guys how I passed um, my NCLEX, you know, the first time. And um, I passed NCLEX art and utilizing a resource that um, a lot of people don't really talk about too much, um, which is Remar. I utilize Remar, Remar, Remar once again. Shout out to Miss Regina, uh, I think it's Callian or Calhoun, Callian, Regina. Shout out to her. Um, Remar is the truth, in my in my opinion. Um, a lot of people uh, that I was going to school with, they were going to be utilizing um, U World. U World is a fantastic program. But um, the issues that I had with U World is the price, and um, I, you know, come, you know, living, living in this world through this pandemic, I have, I was looking at all my resources and school. I went to a private school; it was expensive. Um, I just did not want to pay for um, U World, and um, I remember coming across Miss Virginia's um, lectures on YouTube. Uh, before but um I never like really like super super uh zoned into what she was saying and stuff like that I know she was on here though and I, I came across a few lectures but I wasn't really like paying attention to her program um but now I did thankfully um I decided to purchase Remar and when I purchased Remar um if I'm looking down it's because I got some notes down here um Basically, when I decided to purchase Remar was because, uh, number one, it was definitely affordable. It was in my price point. Number two is I felt, and I, I don't know how wrong this will sound or if this may come across a certain type of way to people, but I feel like um, we as women, black women, um, it could be, you know, any type of women, you know, we will give our money to other corporations and things like that. And we forget to focus on our own. And I know Miss Regina, um, I don't know her personally, but I'm just saying I know uh, Miss Regina, she might have had a team and it was probably a very colorful team of people that um, helped her. But just having a black woman who is a nurse who came up with a program and wanted to help other people. It didn't matter what type of people. Um, it was very inspiring to me and I felt like I wanted to be a part of uh, a sisterhood, a, a, a something where um, somebody who looks like me, I just wanted to support them. Like, I could have easily gave my money to somebody else, but I'm like, look, let me give her a chance. <laughs> let me give her a chance. And um, another thing that resonated with Remar for me was that um, when I would look up people like passing NCLEX with U World and, and things like that, and I'm just using U World as an example, um, there wasn't enough people that looked like me that were passing. And I know it sounds bad, but like I said, um, we all have different backgrounds. We all have different mindsets and, um, people who look like me, they can be super, super smart too. We all have different brains, but I wanted to know what people who had a similar story like mine, what they were u utilizing to pass. I wanted to know what my, um, you know, uh, uh, international people were doing that were obviously nurses in another country and then come over here and taking on English as a second language um, what they were doing to pass and become nurses I wanted to know because I needed to be utilizing what they were utilizing I didn't need to be utilizing what everybody else was utilizing and telling me to utilize and saying that oh this is gonna help me no that wasn't gonna work for me so Remar and the story was a perfect fit moving forward all right, with Remar, I like the fact that with Remar, their fo focus was basically on content, not over strategy. What I mean by that, content over strategy. A lot of programs focus on um, strategy. 
oh well you need to look at this little um line over here look at this word over here and whoop de whoop de whoop and then you could decipher what the question is going to say and then if it does, you decipher it then guess what the, this is going to be the answer every time for it and my issue with Kaplan because my school made us use Kaplan is there they you I felt like they were utilizing their focus on strategy their focus was on this stupid decision tree that was it, it didn't I'm not you know what I shouldn't call it stupid their decision tree that I it didn't work for me at all you would have to have been using that from day one to grasp the concept that the decision tree did not work for me Kaplan's thing so the thing I like about Remore is they focus on content content is key you don't have to sit there and try to remember a certain way of how to um answer a question if you know your content I love Remore for that um like I said I also love Remore because of their price point they um their virtual trainer you get it for 90 days and for 90 days at the time when I paid for it, it was $129. Now, it may be a little bit more money now. I, I'm not sure, but I know for sure her her programs is normally, I, I believe, like under $200 or something like that. So the virtual trainer, you get it for nine days. You can access it online. Um, you could uh, do it on your phone. You could do it on your computer. You could do it on your iPad. I, I use all of those sources because I was on the go. So... I like that I could do that and then if you needed more than 90 days it was a $29 renewal fee also she had a 30-day Q-Bank that you could pay for separately um which was $29 uh just like if you needed questions and stuff but um with that virtual trainer it was really really good because it gave you questions it came um my price point I, with that virtual trainer I got the virtual trainer it came with our virtual trainer book which is this thing I love this thing you see how thick it is this is right up my alley I don't need like a super thick old textbook I need something like this that is going to get to the point then on top of that it came with the quick um facts for um NCLEX I love that so I for $129 I paid for this junk right here and this is my resource that I utilize. Now, another thing, with her uh, virtual trainer, it came with um, it came with a lot of different resources. She uh, had a six-week calendar that you could utilize, and um, I'm gonna try to go back on some of her videos to see if she even like put a snippet example of her. Um, of one of her calendars and stuff like that so I can give you an example of how one of the days would uh you know how you would work with with um what am I trying to say I'm gonna see if I can find an example of one of the calendars so that you could see um how how you would operate how would you study but if I can't find it and I'm not gonna put it up there and I don't want to really show you it if she didn't show it show you it because this is her business and I'm not trying to give away her information um, for free because if she's not giving away for free why should I but um what I did is I took like she would have something like for Monday Tuesday Wednesday th whatever and um basically you would follow that schedule now what I would do is that schedule I would um I would just de definitely uh, make it work in terms for me. So even if the schedule said like, oh, at 8 o'clock you start and you do this and you do that, if 8 o'clock is not a good time for me to study, then guess what? I'm not studying at 8 o'clock. I'm going to be studying at 9 o'clock. But um, what I did was the weekends was my time to work. So I had basically dedicated Monday through Thursday to um study with remar and what i did was because i'm very techie so i put i made i took her calendar and made a, a a separate calendar for myself and when i did that i um i have this little binder here it's like this like a dollar 
and um, what I did is I made the calendar specific for my needs and I um so Miss Regina from Remar Nurse she came up with a six-week calendar it is not my right to give out the details of that calendar or to provide you know copies of that uh, calendar hence why I scribbled out the information you can choose which days that you follow the calendar so since I work on the weekends, um, preferably Friday, Saturday, and Sundays, I made sure to utilize Miss Regina's calendar from Monday through Thursday. And whatever time was good for me to start studying, rather that was in the morning, in the evening, that was my set time to study. So for instance, if she had something for eight o'clock and eight o'clock wasn't a good time for me to study, then okay, maybe I'll start studying around six o'clock. You just make the calendar fit towards your needs. She's just giving you a guide. My calendar was set up the way it was. Miss Regina's was six weeks. So you'll see how I I added some additional days of studying for myself and basically it was just reviewing everything that um, I learned through Remar I just made sure I utilized every time that I had up to the date of my NCLEX uh, study date so I have that uh, next thing um, that that virtual uh tra trainer workbook i loved it because it, this is the hands-on approach you basically go log on online and she has like all these modules of different things and you go in and you um you're just reviewing and um you just follow along with the modules basically and as you can see like i i was i went in i went in I love, oh my God, this was like the best thing. You cannot buy this separate. This only comes with her package. So you have to like buy her program. Now her quick facts, this joint, this would this this was nothing to be messed with at all. You can purchase this separately, and a lot of people have purchased this on um Amazon separately, but um this was a godsend as well. Uh what I also did, um, anytime she, she, she utilized her social media platforms a lot as well. And, um, anytime she, she would do like lives and all that stuff. And I would log on to YouTube and every time she went live, I would go on with her and she would uh, do like different questions and, um, break it down. You can ask her questions on there. And it was just a really tight knit community and stuff like that. Like people from, she had a Facebook and then she did the, the YouTube. And I like that you felt like you was with her. Like you could like, I, I like that hands-on approach. It was, it was nice. But anyhow, back to my little white book. Um, I did a lot of work with, with her thing. She would, um, like, as you can see, let's talk NCLEX. You, you, like, if you watch her, you know what I, what I mean by that. Basically, I would write out the question. And these were on YouTube as well. So, I can actually, like, show you, like, what I was doing. But, um... Because it's nothing. It's on YouTube. But it says, let's talk in class. And I would write out the question. And then in red, I would write out, you know, what the uh, what the answer was or what the rationale and stuff was. And move on from there. And like I said, you can find that on um, on YouTube. Uh, because she she gave, gave us some of those uh, questions for free. Like, that's the type of person she was. And then with the virtual trainer, I also came across another um quick 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 facts for nursing but guess what it was more geared towards pediatrics and i didn't see a lot of people um take advantage of that i downloaded this because it was in my virtual my um my um online virtual trainer that i paid for so anything that she had for us that we could download and stuff i downloaded it and so it was like basically having two different quick faxes I had the quick facts for peas and then the quick facts um, for nursing that they, they talk some pediatric stuff right here, but they really go into pediatric stuff over here. So I was thankful I found that. Then, um, yeah, like, then I would just, 
it, it was just a lot, y'all. I, I did a lot. I had I had my little folder where I did my notes. I did quick facts. I did the virtual trainer. And I was just on the schedule. And I went back and forth, back and forth. All right. Yeah, so I, I was utilizing all the resources that she gave me until it was done. And you know how like any time um, somebody, they want you to look up something um, when you don't know the answer? What I did was there was two resources that I utilized um, for studying for NCLEX. I utilized Remar and then I utilized this pink ATI NCLEX Art in Review. Now, this one is the 18th edition. There is a 19th edition that's out, but the 18th edition, this is what worked for me. And um, there was uh, some code circling around online where you could have got this for free at one point. Um, there was me. I, I didn't even pay for this. This didn't even come in my bundle for um, of ATI books that I had got when I was in nursing school. So, but th I heard this costs a lot of money, but my friend, you could go on eBay and all that other stuff and pay for it for cheap, like, like $50 or less. But, um, my friend, she gave me hers because she had two. And so she sent me this and anytime I needed to look up something, um, that I didn't understand and Remar or whatever that I wanted to just go a little more in depth with, I would use this book because you see how, once again, thin it is. I don't need it thick textbook the textbook is going to throw me off so i would utilize this um and it was clutch it was clutch because you can see my little tabs and stuff i was not playing i didn't you i'm gonna be honest with y'all i did not utilize this a whole lot but i utilized this when once again i had to look up something um the most thing that i could say is i have no regrets um utilizing remar um there's going to be times where you're going to be thinking like, well, am I getting enough? Am I getting enough? Look, she's giving you what you need and, and some because let me tell you, she went in, inside her virtual trainer. I don't know if she still have this now. She went back and gave you something additional. She she started going going um into depth about the fundamentals um, different fundamentals that you're going to learn into nursing. Like, so if you needed, um, additional help that, um, uh, we weren't on that, that wasn't the topic of the day or whatever like that, then you can go back and do fundamentals in her virtual trainer. Like this lady was so, her program was, uh, super put together. Um, as far as the QBank, I did pur purchase the QBank and my scores with the QBank, it was like 50-50. It was, it let me, it basically let me know like, um, yes, if I was ready or no, if I was ready or I need some additional time. But my, my scores was like 50-50 and the only, um, critique I'm gonna give with the QBank is I saw, I don't know if it was a glitch in the system, but there was a lot of questions on there that was like repeat and stuff so i i i i just left it at that um but once again i was more uh keen on learning my content with this lady and logging on online when she would go live um i think she would go on on mondays because she would have something called motivational mondays and um i would log on too and she would give you questions of the days and then sometimes she'll give you like three three of them or five of them or whatever like that and you will be working those questions out <laughs> right then and there and she'll give you the rationales right then and there then she just do little things to like keep your spirit spirits going and stuff and i i really appreciated that um not to make this uh video super super long but i'm glad that i gave this woman a shot because it worked in my favor and from what i've been seeing is uh there's a lot of people that utilize her program that been out of school for years been out of nursing school for years and then decides to go back and then um they take their tests and they pass i love that i love that she has something for rns she has something for lps i love that she um it this program is easy enough for international students is internet is um easy enough for uh students that has been out of the game for a long time and is um 
good for students like me who just got out of nursing school and want to take their chance. And I felt like this was more so in, <coughs> excuse me, in my favor because number one, number one, I just got out of nursing school. So that info is still fresh in my brain. So maybe there were some things that my school didn't go into depth about, but she did. And it, and it was a lot of things. And I'm like, hold on. I, ain't, I don't remember learning that in nursing school. And I was learning it with her. So I was really, really glad that, um, you know, I took that opportunity to to purchase her stuff. And if you get an opportunity to, if you, if you want to, you know, do her virtual trainer or, um, you know, purchase this quick facts book. If you want to, um, uh subscribe to her channel i'm gonna put her channel name up here you know what i mean and um subscribe to her channel log on um when she um i get, what do you call it hit the bell for the notifications so because when she uh log on for motivational mondays and when she do her her online segments and sometimes she be doing camps too i did it was so weird let me tell you guys because i still have the sticker on my um on my computer and i'm gonna show you but she was having a, is it spooky Halloween or Halloween something? It was around the Halloween time. She was going to have another NCLEX um, review. And with those NCLEX reviews, she you, you sign up on her email. She email you um, like a workbook that you can print out or you can just do it on your phone or whatever. And... The day of that um, review, you log on and, and she's on live and you take your workbook that she emailed you and y'all go through everything um, of whatever the topic may be. And I like that she do stuff like that because not a lot of people do do stuff like that. And I was going to take that class on her her um, her October one. I think it was like, it was either October the 29th I think it was October the 29th or something like that. I'm going to show you. I wrote it down on my um, on my calendar. But thankfully for me, I didn't have to take that class because on October the 28th when I set for NCLEX, your girl had got her RN and that was on period. So um, I, I really thank Miss Regina because like she, she also with her spirituality and oh with her husband Mark, he is like great. He, he, he steps in and he helps as well. Um, they really give you like everything you need to be successful. They give you the material. They give you the confidence. They give you that, that spiritual guidance as well to, you know, zone in of all those doubts and fears and go for what you what you need and I I definitely appreciate that and um you know her their her and their model is is I can I will I must pass NCLEX but I just want to let you know I can and I did pass NCLEX you know what I mean and you got to write down that you got to believe it and you got to put your names with RN next to it and you just got to do what you got to do and you will pass it um with all the things that she gave me, like I said, to be successful, only you um, can do it. You have to put in those hours. She's not there with you. She's giving you her program, but it's what you do with that program that's going to make you successful. So, for instance, for me, when I was doing her program, your girl, I got, I'm going to show you some more. I got words on my wall. So, the reasoning behind the words on the wall was because I wanted to look at something that was quick and easy. You know, the first thing I see when I wake up and the last thing I see when I go to bed. So for instance, when I wake up in the morning, before I could even relieve myself, I would recite this wall and I would have to recite it by memory. And anything that I messed up, I will pull it down and I would have to refocus my energy on that. So after I would recite it, then I could go to the bathroom. And that's how I would start my day in the morning. And in the evening, for instance, I would, um, after all everything was done and I would lay down, I would recite the wall again. And this time, you know, I would say it, then I would say it by memory. 
Uh, once again, excuse my the, the background and stuff because I currently, you know, was living in an RV, you know, during these times and things because I had to give up that those high rents in, in Florida and I had to, you know, make things happen. So I didn't touch base on that, but, you know, it was no excuse for me to not study and purchase this, this uh, trainer and still get my NCLEX. So now all that money that I'm going to become, that's going to be coming in when I'm going to be working as a nurse will be mine. Words, cue cards. This whole quick facts books that we have, guess what? I went through this whole quick facts book and I recited it. I read it to myself and recorded. I will not be sending that recorders to you because guess what? That's stopping the bag for my girl. So I recorded myself speaking and on um, this book. And so if I was running an errand out when I was um shopping, driving to work, or if I was at work on my break, guess what your girl was doing? Listening to this recording of this quick facts book. Because anything that I needed to zone in on that was um going to help me, then I was going to get it how I was going to get it. And that was on period. So that could be another thing. If you're an auditory learn learner, then that may be a good tool. Instead of sitting there listening to the trap music, whatever you listen to in your car. Look, I recorded myself with this book and i did that and i'm gonna post that picture so you can see that i was not playing um but yeah like i said uh, i'm so glad that my journey is just getting started it's not over but if you are a brand new nurse you will be fooling yourself if you don't um try to utilize this you can utilize any resource that you want but i'm glad that i you i utilized hers and i stuck with it and that was it that was all i used that was the best decision i made so on that note if you guys have any questions just please just you know hit me up in the comment section um you can also follow me on my so other social media platform which is on um instagram memoirs of key um you can also uh just like comment subscribe um and yeah i'll see you in the next video